Dennis, let's begin. Tell us what your key messages are to the audience today. We're going to be talking about the growing trend toward mergers and credit unions. We've been averaging one merger per business day since the year 2000. That's accelerating now with all of the regulatory pressures and uh, the demands of the marketplace. And um, we're going to look in depth at uh, the pluses, the minuses, the pitfalls, the challenges, the opportunities in, of merger and credit union and uh, challenge the audience to understand not only how it works, but uh, how they strategically mm -hmm. need, to, need to look at that at their credit union. Hey, if we're to look at like one of the benefits, one of the pitfalls, what would that might be? Well, the benefit, of course, is economies of scale. Credit unions are not exempt from the rules of business, and economies of scale also are beneficial to credit unions, just as they are to any other type of, uh, of, of financial institution. And among the pitfalls is that it always requires a cultural change to be able to bring two organizations together and to make it work and make it click as one. And so the perfect merger is one that makes you stronger, financially better, enables you to accomplish economies of scale, but still is able to meet those, those cultural differences and bring it together. Mm -hmm. And for anyone that wants more information from the services you provide, where should they go? Well, we do a lot of work with mergers. We're doing about uh, 14 mergers right now in our firm, Dollar Associates, out of Birmingham, Alabama, uh, dollarassociates.com. We have our information on there about, uh, about our merger services as well as our other field of membership services and, and other services working with credit unions. We work exclusively with credit unions and the organizations that serve them, and credit unions have been very good to us, and, and we try to return that. Wonderful. Thank you, sir. Thank you.